Hey everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode. So my name is Thiago, I am a painter and architect, and I am here today to talk about the new canvas that I finished. Yay! I'm so excited for this one because this one is completely new. So you already know from the other series that I have been doing of the robots and aliens, I wanted to take a step further and make it as robotic as I could, but I still wanted it to have emotion, to transmit a lot of emotion through the face and even through the movement. So in this one, that is different from the others, is that the whole body is mechanical. The whole body is completely mechanical and it even has a bionic eye. <laughs> yes, that is quite interesting because I don't know why that came up to me, but I just knew that I had to do those eyes because a lot of people say that my paintings focus a lot on the eyes and rely a lot on the eyes, but actually I don't feel like I need those potent eyes just to get the emotion out. It's a little bit more difficult though if you don't have the expression of a real eye, a real iris, to give that emotion, but you can definitely do it. It's completely possible because even with the bionic eye, you can get all of those feelings out there. And that for me is amazing. It's always what I strive for. It's not only painting something pretty, it's uh, getting you to feel something. And uh, I think I kind of achieved something with this painting. So she is kind of looking sideways with the hand, the very bionic hand, because I've been having so many dreams about these hands and these mechanical parts. I just need to do them. If I don't do them, I just can't sleep at all. <laughs> so. She's against a black background and what happened is that with the technique that I have been using, so I always use oil paint, but somehow the weather made it that it didn't quite dry when I wanted it to. So as I was painting, some of my hand was lifting paint a little bit from the background and that created an interesting effect. It looks almost as if she is dissolving into the ether. So I just left those imperfections. I've been having these cravings of leaving the painting rough and uh, kind of undone, you can say, but leaving it with a lot of texture, a lot of uh, intricate detail that I just happened to make up because I just don't have that patience to look at reference photos, details, and all of that. So I kind of just have a rough idea, and then I make the whole detail up. That makes it way easier for you to just get the painting done. Nobody will, will notice it. Nobody will, will say, oh, it's not quite accurate. Because what matters is the feeling that it projects. So don't lose all your time in detail. Make sure that you are getting something out there, that you are making something potent with a lot of contrast, a lot of feeling into it, and just get it out there, get all that emotion out there, instead of just getting uh, lost into the technique. Because that can happen sometimes, especially with oil painting, that the technique requires so many layers, so many glazes, so many time waiting for it to dry. You can completely get lost in the technique. So try to avoid that and keep in mind what is really important and the reason why you are doing that work. The concept of uh, this painting <clears throat> was actually bringing all that machinery into life. So it's a triptych from all the other paintings that I did, it's a triptych and it starts with this one, this is the first one, it's a very um, machine-like creature 
the one that has the hand like this, then it moves to that, that that has the hand like this, that I called her Ludmilla for no reason at all. And uh, she has the hand like this, and um, it's becoming a little bit more human-like, and at the end it's like a bionic creature that has the hand like this. You can still feel that it's a machine, but it's much more uh, lifelike, even the skin tones and everything. So it's kind of like a production. I like to, uh, to think about it as a production line in a factory. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Okay, now as for the technique, this one, again, a little bit different than what I am used to doing because I always do a black and white base. I always uh, blend it a lot, uh, do many glazes, but uh, I kind of feel the change. I kind of feel the change in the need for something more than just perfect technique because uh, I wanted to leave things on the natural side, if you will. Leave it a little bit more fluid, a little bit more undone. And so I did the Grisel phase, as always. I, you can even skip this part. If you add a lot of contrast, you can go right to color. But I kind of like to uh, keep it on the Grisel side, because then I can focus just on contrast, and contrast is key. So I kept the contrast with the Grisel phase, and then I glaze it over with color, as I normally would. But the difference is that I didn't glaze it uniformly, you know, just giving it a glaze and then going with highlights. I just glazed it on specific areas so that I could keep that underpainting kind of pushing through. And uh, by doing this, and even at the end, aging the painting, by doing it just on specific areas, you actually create more contrast because there are the glazed areas that contrast with the grisel areas. So who would know that leaving the painting a little bit undone would actually create more interest and more contrast? And you'll be able to see all of that. I think I'm showing this somewhere around here. So you're able to see all of the process in speed, of course, because this is a lot of hours. I'm not going to bore you with all of it. Okay, you guys, it's done. Thank you so much for being in this video and for listening to it. If you like my content, subscribe. Of course, that would help me out a lot. Turn the notification bell because sometimes YouTube doesn't notify you. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. Oh, and also like it. <laughs> that helps the algorithm. I don't know why, but just do all of those things together and you will be helping me out a lot. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for being here and see you next time. Yay!